And if we zoom in nice and tight, 768,750 views on this one video from using this simple little trick. What's going on? So today, I'm gonna do probably one of the shortest videos I've ever done on this channel to date, and that's because this method is so easy, it will only take a short time to go over. Now that said, be sure to watch this entire video as it's only going to be a few minutes anyways and it could be huge in terms of growing your channel. So I hope you'll watch this video. So let's get started and don't forget if you want short to the point step by step videos that actually teach you quick and effective methods for growing on YouTube and generating online income and you don't like wasting your time watching long drawn out videos that only give you a general idea of how to do something, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out because the faster you learn, the faster you earn. So as we get into to this yes we're going to be talking about how to title your videos for maximum views now if you don't pay any attention to how to title your videos you're really losing out because YouTube pays a lot of attention to your titles now why does that matter well YouTube is basically this gigantic algorithm and so where it determines to place your videos is largely based on how you title them and so if you're not careful about how you title them YouTube's going to place your videos in places where they're not going to get a lot of views and that's just going to be based on the demand of your content, how many people are searching for the type of video that you're posting based on the title you're telling YouTube your video is about, or based on the amount of competition surrounding your video based on, again, your title, what you're telling your, your YouTube what your video is about. Now that said, be sure you're using some type of keyword research tool to help you figure out how to title your videos to begin with. And again, I like using TubeBuddy and VidIQ. If you don't like those extensions then fine just go to google and type in free keyword research tool and use whatever you like but for my example today i'm going to use tubebuddy and again we're going to go into keyword explorer and let's say we were going to do a video on how to make a tuna fish sandwich now i'm not intending on making a video on how to make a tuna fish sandwich but this just shows you the power of using a keyword research tool like tubebuddy as it's analyzing this title and it's looking at the amount of search volume on youtube currently for this type of content. So how many people are coming on YouTube and looking for something related to how to make a tuna fish sandwich? And so they're saying, hey, the demand for that is good. The search volume is high. The competition is also good because it's saying this, uh, the competition level is low. That means there's not a ton of people posting content around how to make a tuna fish sandwich. So you could get a lot of views potentially if you went with this title and did a video on how to get a make a tuna fish sandwich. So now the only thing better than having one good hot title like this is having two. And so that's what we're talking about today. So what I would do is I would save this, how to make a tuna fish sandwich, save that to your clipboard, and then find another similar title that's gonna be very good and recommended by your keyword research tool. And so now using TubeBuddy, it's gonna give us a couple other related titles regarding tuna fish sandwiches, like how to make a better tuna fish sandwich, how to make a tuna fish sandwich without mayo, with mayo. Let's try something a little different. So you could use this and incorporate a different title and, and use these um, added keywords, but you'll get what I mean here in a second when I show you this next example. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this title up quite a bit. So I have how to make a tuna fish sandwich as title one. Now I'm going to make another title and we're going to call it, let's say, the best tuna fish sandwich recipe. Let's try this. And we have another separate winning title. So we have how to make a tuna fish sandwich and we have the best tuna fish sandwich recipe. So I would save this as well. And I'm going to show you what to do with it in a second. Now in a second, I'm gonna give you a couple real life examples from my own channel on how I do use this to basically double my audience. But I'm gonna show you really quickly right here how we're gonna do this. So we have two winning titles. So instead of just having one title, how to make a tuna fish sandwich, we're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna use either a divider, something to separate the two titles, or we can use parentheses and I'll show you again in a real life example and the results I've gotten with my own channel doing this. And then we're gonna incorporate the best tuna fish sandwich recipe, this second title we came up, we're gonna combine these into one title. So it's gonna be how to make a tuna fish sandwich with some type of divider and then the best tuna fish sandwich recipe, or we can do how to make a tuna fish sandwich and then in parentheses, Hot, the best tuna fish sandwich recipe. So now why are we doing this? By utilizing two separate titles and combining them into one title, we can use one video and just by having two titles appeal to two separate audiences. So as you would imagine, somebody coming to YouTube and typing in how to make a tuna fish sandwich. So you have a group, let's say there's 10,000 people doing that every month. Just as an example, I don't know if that's true, but let's say 10,000 people a month go to YouTube, 
how to make a tuna fish sandwich. So now your video stands a chance if you just use that simple title to show up in front of some of those people, right? YouTube's gonna pair up what they're looking for with your video. And so now let's suppose just as an, an example, that there's another group of people, another group of 10,000 people a month that come on YouTube that type in the best tuna fish sandwich recipe. So now you have a whole nother group and YouTube's gonna say, hey, this video is also about the best tuna fish sandwich recipe. So now you can be exposed to another 10,000 people. So essentially in this example, you've doubled your ability to get views. Now let me show you how effective this is with again, a couple of examples from my own channel. And real quick, before I show those examples, if you're one of those people that just wanna supercharge the growth of your channel, get all my personal methods and tools for growing YouTube channels quickly, becoming a YouTube partner, earning AdSense revenue, and even monetizing your channels, for additional automated income like I do, check out the link in the description to my video series where you can watch over my shoulder, copy me, and set all this up for yourself. And if you do come over here and just check out the course page, which I hope you do when you scroll down a bit, you're gonna see where YouTubers that are enrolled are simply following the steps in the series and just setting it up and sharing the results they're getting with it right here. And I just recently added a new section to the course where I show you how to take a channel from zero to being fully monetized in about two weeks and actually have YouTubers using this information. They're actually getting channels monetized in as quickly as 11 days using this method and it will work with any knit. So again, that link is in the description if you're interested. All right, now to wrap this up, we're gonna look at a couple real life examples. So here is one of my videos and you can see 768,750 views. And so real quick, if we look at this title, you're gonna see it's actually two titles combined into one. So the first half of this title or the first title is how to get subscribers on YouTube fast. And then the second is actually get more subscribers on YouTube. So these are two titles combined into one. And here I used parentheses to separate the two. So when people are reading it, it's easier. But as you can see, what I've done here, again, as I've explained, is there's gonna be people every month that are gonna come onto YouTube and they're gonna search for some type of variation of this, how to get subscribers fast on YouTube. And then YouTube's gonna say, hey, I got a video for you. Here it is. That's what this video is about as the title reads. And then the other group of people that are gonna come on here are gonna type in some type of how to get more subscribers on YouTube or get more subscribers on YouTube. And YouTube again is gonna recognize that, hey, this video is also about getting more subscribers on YouTube. So it's going to possibly put this video in front of those folks as well. And so I'm increasing the audience size that my video appeals to. Let's look at one more example before I wrap this video up. So here's another one of my videos and we have over half a million views on this one. And again, we have two separate titles. In this uh, situation, I actually use this little straight line to separate the two but the first title is get real subscribers fast subscriber hack and so you know the story people are going to search for some type of variation of this and youtube's going to recognize that this video is about that base based on title one of this huge title and then we have grow your youtube channel fast so again another completely set of people are going to come on youtube and that's what they're going to look for they're going to type in how to grow a YouTube channel fast. And again, YouTube is going to look at the same video and show it in front of two different audiences, two different groups of people searching for two different types of content. So it's really that easy. You're maximizing your video, which is the, the hard part, right? Creating and editing and putting out your video. And simply by investing a few more minutes, you're just gonna create two separate titles and potentially double the amount of views you can get by appealing to two separate groups of people. So let me know what you think about this method in the comments below. With that, I'm gonna wrap this up and I will see you in the next video.